Hello guys, in this video I am going to talk about an important and basic subject in the PLC. When you starting your first project on PLC programming, uh, you have to know what are discrete or digital signals and analog input output modules. Discrete signals are simply on or off signal, but analog signals vary and change. First let's talk about discrete or digital on or off signals and then finish it with completing uh, the analog input output modules. So please follow till the end. In discrete signal there are only two states possible, on and off condition. In real world the digital input output signal gives status in different form like high, low, true false and one zero for general status on off uh, activated deactivated and close open are generally for load condition switching mechanism and switching contact status digital module is either as input or output module some example of digital input would be push switch toggle switch selector switch, running or stoppage generators, uh, proximate switch, limit switch, and so on. For a PLC in order to be aware of discrete sensor state, it must receive or detect signal from sensors through a discrete input channel. PLC has the ability to collect data from input signals and send that through output signals to control devices and perform the functions. Some specific application of discrete output would be closing or opening circuit breakers, uh, starting or stopping generators, opening or closing valves, coil, lamp, relay, motor, fan, and so on. We can add digital input output modules from here, uh, as we talked in the previous video about how to add digital and analog modules. Uh, I will provide the link in the description. So for the contacts and coil, uh, we have created and worked on our disk signal. So no need to waste our time anymore. Uh, therefore I'm going to talk about analog signals. Uh, basically the analog input module is called continuous module having a range of values much greater than just 1 or 0. Usually the voltage or current is given to the input module in the form of uh, an analog signal. For instance, if it produces an analog voltage, uh, the range is from 0 to 10 volt DC. The signal can be 1 volt, 2 volt, 3 volt, 4 volt, any values between 0 and 10. If it produces an analog current, uh, the range is from 0 to 20 mA or 4 to 20 mA. Now the tricky point is uh, how to use analog signal in PLC programming. Many people struggle uh, when they start their first project. The first question that uh, may come to uh, your mind would be like how to connect that 4 to 20 mA analog transmitter to your PLC and how this communicate with the PLC. PLC can communicate uh, with analog inputs through analog input module. This is a hardware components and converting analog signals from sensors or any other device into digital signals and then will process by the PLC. Since PLC can only work with two values, 0 or 1, and therefore to understand how analog input work uh, in a PLC, you need to know binary numbers. Binary number is uh, the numbering system used by a PLC or any other computer. Binary number is 0 or 1, and there is no 2, 3, 4, 5, and 9. There is uh, a big subject behind binary numbers, but here I will not go in more details, just uh, understand it in the PLC. 
In PLC programming, uh, binary numbers are generally used to show discrete values, such as on-off states, uh, Boolean logic, or digital signals. Many PLC analog signals are represented by a word. A word here uh, typically refers to a group of binary digits or bits. In PLC, uh, binary numbers are typically shown as 12-bit, uh, 16-bits, uh, or 32-bits, and so on. It depends on analog modules. For example, if it is 12-bit, uh, the range that you need to use for the scaling is 2 to power of 0 to 2 to power of 12, uh, which can be equal to uh, 0 uh, to 4096. Binary numbers with 16 digits represents values from 0 to 2 to power of 16 or 65535. Here, the resolution is very important when dealing with analog uh, in PLC programming. If you enter uh, the analog input card, the signal ranges between 0 to 32767, gives us a certain regulation uh, that I always use it in the back of uh, Twinka software. The binary value in PLC is a raw value uh, that is directly read or written by the PLC without any conversion or scaling. Raw value is like uh, reading temperature, pressure, and so on. Therefore, raw values need to be converted or scaled to different units or ranges depending on the application and devices or sensors which are used. Suppose that uh, we have a temperature transmitter of uh, 0 to 400 centigrade uh, and the analog module of uh, FLA 0402L. The resolutions for this uh, module is uh, input is 14 bit and output is 12 bit. Uh, let's work through program to understand it better. In the previous videos, we discussed how to add modules, so no need to explain again. Uh, here, uh, I'm going to convert it all into 420 milliampere. Uh, click here on tax to see the address or location that specify where the module is connected to the PLC. Uh, then click here to hide uh, system tags. Now you can see uh, the tags of the entire channel uh, slot 01 analog input channel 1, slot 01 analog input data channel 2, and so on, uh, with data type of D word. Here in the main blog one, uh, you can start to write your project. First, uh, we need to convert this data type to real. From conversion, uh, select any two real blocks, uh, connect input to the first channel of your module, uh, name it as output as uh, output one, uh, doesn't matter any name that you like it to measure the minimum and maximum value of the analog input signals uh, you need to determine the range uh, so to do that uh, on the right side from maths select scaling linear conversion then determine the range for the input minimum range is zero uh, and maximum range is uh, 16384 uh, because it is 14 bit and 2 to the power of 14 is equal to these numbers. For the output, uh, you must apply the same range as your device. Here I am using a temperature transmitter 
in range of 0 to 400 centigrade. Therefore, for the minimum, write 0 and for the maximum, write 400. Now let's run the program. Uh, it is not connected to real PLC. Uh, we just run it as a simulation mode. If you put any values uh, as input, the output limited to zero for the minimum and 400 for the maximum. Uh, we will continue in the next video. Thanks for watching.